What is up, my guys? I do and welcome to my channel. It's your boy, and I'm back again. We're back to doing sneakers. We're back to doing sneakers full time. It's nice to see a little bit of uh, sneaker collection coming, you know, towards end of August. As they're going towards autumn, you tend to get more releases this time around. So yesterday I done the ambush and the Nike Air Adjust. So today we're doing the black ones. It's funny because um, Soul Supplier has given it the wrong name, I think, because let me just double check. Yeah, it appears they've given it the wrong name, you know. They called the other one. Let's have a look. They've called both shoes the white black. So if we... No, sorry, white black for the other one. So this one's called the black white. Mm, see where they got you there? White black for the white ones, then black white for the black ones. On StockX, they call something a little bit different. So, and as I'll show you from Source Supply what they're saying. And Bam, as you guys can see there, you've got that silhouette. I did say these look a lot better in black, but nonetheless, the white ones are not really that far off. I did say I like how this has got the retro as well as the, you know, uh, the latest trendy um, vibes about it. So what I liked was the centerpiece there, which had the strap or the Velcro, just where the laces are. Then you've also got that Nike, which comes in the alien head style um, plastic housing, which has got that purple as well as that, like, um, it appears as you go towards the Nike sign, it's just this, like, fiery purple, but it's that, like, ultraviolet sort of color. Then it kind of gets a bit dark as it goes towards the, the border of the plastic housing. Then I also like how you've got the big, massive midsole as well, which is stylish and trendy. Then you've also got some slats at the front, which are vertical. Then you've got the Nike small logo on the front. And it looks trendy. I like it. It looks trendy. It's just one of those shoes that you can wear in wintertime. And it's one of those shoes that you can wear with uh, black jeans. Preferably, you can wear this with some track suits. Or I know people like um, in New York like to wear um, Rick Owens. You can wear this with, with uh, Rick Owens tracks or bottoms that are baggy or either you can wear acne studios you know and um or either you can wear acw as well you know um i think i'd wear these with acw isimiyaki as well though you, you don't really tend to wear isimiyaki like in winter time it's more of a sort of a spring summertime brand they do have some you know some winter stuff as well but you know, in summertime i think they've got a much better collection but yeah you can wear this with all black and then that purple just kind of breaks it off a little bit. So in terms of resale wise, I did say like these were quite high. Um, you know, for you know 190, you're paying quite a lot really. So you're expecting that premium quality finish. And to be honest, with Ambush products in the past, they've not really delivered on the premium side of things. It's just the hype behind the name of the designer. So with the price being 190, these will not make profit at all. Unless you're buying it for a client and the shoe's very hard to get, which I don't think will be very hard to get. These will still be on the shelves after release day. So these are coming out on August 19th, 8 o'clock on sneakers. They might sell out on sneakers, but I think we, you've got those top zero. They always call them tier zero stores. So those tier zero stores will definitely have these on shelf as well. Not a bad shoe. If you want to look different, and just have your different drip, you can buy these. I definitely recommend them. They will also calm down, I believe, as time goes on, because I don't think they'll have a lot of people buying them. So they will calm down. You might get them on sale, perhaps just before Christmas time. So just have a look out. And um, I believe there's also some tools online where you can, I think, select something which you want to buy. You put it on your wish list, then when it drops, whether by more than 10%, then you get alerts. So you can probably do that as well for this as well. And um, yeah, guys, that brings me to the end of the video. If you guys got any questions, make sure you follow my Instagram, which I've left down below as well. And also, guys, make sure you subscribe as well. If you got any questions, I'll see you guys soon. Peace. I'm out.